Tonight, ramping up the vaccine rollout. Dallas County expecting to more than double the doses that they are getting from the state in the coming weeks. Our Robbie Owens reporting now on what they're doing to get ready for that. Can't be too careful. My, my brother's just got it. He lives in Las Vegas and he's come down with virus. The arrival of COVID vaccines, while anticipated and appreciated, don't want to be sick. Period. I mean, if it's there, get it. Yeah. Yeah, ounce of prevention is worth the, you know, and, everything. And we want freedom away from the house. The demand is just a start. Distribution remains a massive challenge. Dallas County now preparing to open three mega vaccination sites as early as next week. Will you be able to get these sites up that quickly? We will because we drilled for this for 10 years. I was on a call with our fire chiefs. Um, and I felt like I was at a pep rally. They were so fired up and ready to get started on this. Two of those locations will be the Ellis Davis Fieldhouse, Eastfield College Campus. Those will be drive-throughs by appointment only. If you show up without an appointment, uh, they'll just turn your car around. A third location will offer walk-up service for those who want to be monitored for possible adverse reactions, most likely in the southern sector. We're looking at zip codes where they've been hardest hit with COVID. We're looking for the most underlying conditions and other factors that the doctors tell us those people need it first. Dallas County leaders also looking to learn from Tarrant County neighbors. They're already vaccinating more than a thousand each day at Arlington's eSports complex. Partnership that we have with Tarrant County Public Health where residents are registering through them. And then they provide us with the list of who will be arriving on specific days and then they, they arrive and get their shots. It was real easy. As soon as they published the link, we got in there and it was last week, and we already got an appointment. That kind of process hopefully coming soon to Dallas County. Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.